to the Spitter Swallow Beer Review. I am Jammer. Can your mouth get any closer to that big black mic? I don't know. Maybe I can. BBM. Ah, that guy right there is Shag Dog the Extraordinary. Cool. I got Shag Dog, Infinite Ale Works, Into the Dark Roast, Imperial Coffee Stout. Pop it yeah. up. I'm doing Highland Brew is nuts and vote. Coconut Coffee Porter. So it's a coconut coffee porter. Ah, coconut coffee porter. Knowing how much you like coconut, you should love this mm. one. I don't. I like coconut. I just don't like it when it's overwhelming in beers. Yeah. You know? uh, my beer says traditionally inspired, infinitely creative, and then it says uh, brewed and canned by Infinite oh. Ale Works of Ocala, Florida, USA. Five nine percent uh, ABV. Right. And this is an on beer advocate. This one here, it's a uh, 5.8% ABV, 3.78 out of 5 on untapped. Do you know what mine said for ABV on the. No. No. I do not know. It says 88 by the BA, and it's considered an American Imperial Stout. That's what it says. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, it is very dark, and it's got a, a dark beige head that's kind of frothy and uh, rocky, but inviting at the, as well, you know. Uh, the smell, I got a whiff of it as I was pouring it. It smells of coffee. Yeah, coffee, uh, chocolate, baker, kind of like baker's chocolate, you know, and it's just like... Uh, kind of slight sweetness, roastiness. Go ahead, Shagdon. This smell. Oh. <laughs> Did it you smell like, it? It smells like a really, really strong coffee. I mean, stronger than I never smelled before. It's like a BB. C of black, big black, it's a BBC of big black coffee. Big black coffee. Mm. Some people would go crazy over that. Yeah. Some people would think that was the be all and end all of everything. Right. There's a, a girl big I black with. coffee. Come on. Yeah, there's a girl I worked with. She was doing a big black coffee. And his nickname was BBC. And she's like, what does that mean? And I'm like, you're... F I didn't say it out loud, but I said, you're doing him. I'm thinking this. You're doing him, and you don't know what BBC stands for? You never heard of that? Yeah, like, big black coffee. Yeah, big black coffee. Mm -hmm. With a little cream. Yeah, if you want cream in it. Well, sometimes you get it if you don't want it anyway, so... Well, if everything goes right, you the know. Cream, the cream is going out. Yeah, the cream is coming. All right. <laughs> yeah, this, I can smell more of the coffee than I can coconut. I get a slight vanilla in mine, uh, as well as a little, like, brown sugar type. It, it, to me, it uh, brown sugar, vanilla, coffee, roastedness, uh Kind of like I said, Baker's chocolate. That's what it is. It smells like it's Baker's chocolate. Not sweet. Not semi-sweet, but just Baker's chocolate. Um, but I do get hints of sweetness, and I do get a, a detectable type uh, ideal that it's kind of boozy, you know? Yeah. Uh, uh. So I'm going to go ahead and dive in, Shag Dog, and you can go ahead yeah. and... Ex and uh, 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 yeah. Describe yeah. your delectable delight um, as I'm taking yeah. a sip of mine. It's mostly a strong coffee. There's a hint of coconut in there, but that coffee is like overwhelming, that coconut. So I'm going to just go ahead and try it. Let's see if it tastes like coconut. Cheers. Cheers, my friend. 
Wow. Mine gets chocolate, coffee, vanilla, uh, sugar that's maybe been a little burnt. Um, uh, it does have the booziness. Ooh. So it doesn't mask the boozy, uh, the booze and the ABV very well. Um, it's there. Got a slight bitterness and a little bit of a sweetness at the end. Overall, it's not terrible. It's completely drinkable. And I'm going to give it some more while you describe or... Man, this is like big, big, big BBC, big black coffee. It's mostly coffee. I can barely taste the uh, coconut. There's coconut there, but it's such a robust coffee taste there. I mean, it's eh, it's probably half and half if you look at it that way. But the coffee is like kind of overwhelming the coconut. On mine, I get an extreme bitter at the end. And it's very disagreeable, this bitterness yeah. at the end. And it's just, it's like, yeah, what am I doing these beer reviews for? You know, yeah. you know that's kind of the feeling I get whenever I'm drinking uh, it. I'm thinking to myself as the beer itself or as the company itself, you know, pushing the beer. And here yeah. I am saying this beer doesn't taste the greatest because the bitterness is harsh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, fuck. Well, I tell you what, you got an awesome background, Jammer. So, I mean, that's why you do the beer reviews, those awesome Florida backgrounds. Is that what it is? Yeah. I don't know why I'm not centered tonight. Yeah. Um, Go ahead, I'm, I'm a little disappointed in this because when I thought about Infinite Ale Works, you know, Infinite ale and it's working. Uh, infinite is never ending, right? It's and then all the into the dark roast Imperial Coffee Stout. To me, that thought I thought to myself, into the dark roast, dark roast coffee, right? Yeah. Mm. And then Imperial Coffee Stout, meaning it's Imperial and ABV, you know, and it's a stout. And yeah. dang it, we're into that dark roast. Here we are. Well, that was completely decimated by the fact that the dark roast is dark, but it's very bitter. Ooh. Such is life. And the Imperial Coffee Stout portion, it does taste of coffee, but it's very boozy. Ooh. Very disappointed. I expected more, and I am undesirably dis- in disgust. Uh, I was hoping this one a little bit more coconut, a little bit less coffee, but it's more coffee than coconut. Um, yeah, what can you do? You know, it's Highland Brew, and they do what they want, right? Uh, they all do what they want and what they think. Either that or they pay the right people and they get numbers like 100. Yeah. I mean, coffee, really black, dark coffee lovers would like this. There's only a hint of a coconut in there. It's not a real strong coconut. See, now, if I was drinking coffee, I would say, like, man, this is freaking bitter. This is horrible. Yeah, this is strong. This one was strong. I'd be, like, one, but... I'd be like, yeah, I'm not trying that roast anymore. I mean, this is all right, but when you're saying it's coconut, Porter, coffee porter. I expect a little bit more coconut. I was hoping to get like that uh, Kona brew in their porter they used to have way back in the day. The coffee porter they had. It was like really yeah, coconutty. Cocoa brown or whatever. Yeah, cocoa brown. It was a brown ale, actually. Yeah, the coconut yeah. brown ale. That was really good, actually. I mean, it was a little bit too much coconut, but for one beer, it was all right. Yeah. Yeah, this is okay though. It's a strong coffee beer. It's only five point whatever percent ABV, so alcohol is not too high. You gotta be a really strong black coffee lover yeah. to like this one. Now, I will say this much: um, if you're drinking any of these, you know, and you're comparing it to coffee, 
Granted, coffee has a wide ranging of flavors too, you know. And, yeah, that's true. And depending on how much water you add to it and and how long it's roasted and all that stuff, but uh, when I think of this, and if it was me, I usually would have two cups of coffee before I start my shift at work. Right, uh, same here. Um, I don't know if I would enjoy this as a uh, as just the coffee flavor, you know, because it's harsh yeah. and it's bitter. Yeah. I would have to add a little bit of sugar and cream, you know. Same here. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to drink this for, before work. I need sugar yeah. and cream in this. Yeah. So, in that sense, I don't think it matches the style or the yeah. the, the intent of the Infinite Ale works. All I can say is tonight, no sugar in your coffee. No sugar tonight, no sugar in your tea. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I'll give this one uh, for what it is. A C plus and a swallow. Well... I can't believe it myself. Oh. On top of the world. King of the world. King of the north. <laughs> King of the thinking, south. Oh, it's somebody else. You're but, you know, believe it or not, it's just me and this Infinite L works. It was what? Infinite L works. Infinite L works. Yeah. Into the dark roast we go. Wow. Boldly ever, daunting never, spirit tried and true. Uh, Pasco, hi to you. Wow. And do you think, because uh, everybody thinks they're a the center of their own universe, right? Yes, the center is the being in the center. Yeah. So everybody thinks they're special, but in reality, nobody's special. special. So special. So special. Special. Yeah. But in reality, nobody's special, right? Everybody's special. You were made in the reflection of God. Anyhow, but we're all pretty much the same special. Nobody's more special than anybody else, right? Yeah, going by that logic, Shag Dog, I would have to... I mean, there's people at there. this moment in time. I would have to agree with you because I don't know if I could think through that a little more and and uh, okay. debunk. I'll give you a little thinking into it that you possibly could debunk me, but then I can don't debunk you right back because there are special people out there. There are certain stars. Taylor Swift, she's so fucking special. She's big. No, uh, she's not special. All these ones that are even on movies and stuff. They're acting a part. That's not really them. So that that's the the thing about all the actors and everything. That they're playing a role. They're playing. Yeah. Yes, a part yeah. of them is that role. But in general, you don't know who the true uh, Humphrey Bogart, Clint Eastwood, Nicholas Arnold Schwarzenegger, Cage. Nicholas Cage, uh, Tom Pitt, uh, yeah. Tom. Bro, whatever his name is, Tom Cruise, Tom Petty, and Brad Mark Pitt. Roberts. I said Tom Pitt and Brad Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> we should we should pick some names up like that. Uh, Harrison, so, you know, instead yeah. of Ford, Harrison. Yeah. yeah. Harrison Fawcett and Farrah mm. Ford. Yeah, Farrah Ford. <laughs> you don't know who they truly were, and you know the sad thing is, is that. They truly didn't have real friends either because the true friends were the friends before they became famous. Right. But I'm sure once they became famous, some falling out happened there, perhaps most likely. I think in general that a lot of people say, all right, let me put it this way. If I became famous tomorrow and rich and all that stuff like that, yes, you were my friend before and everything. And yes, I can help you. And yes, I could probably be an avenue of hope in the sense of uh, being able to give you opportunities to do other things. If I was famous, you know, I'm saying all of us, and I'm not saying just because of me, if it was a reverse, <sighs> if it was you, I would think the same thing. 
you are famous, you are this and that and all that stuff, and you got all this. And you, I would that would be an opportunity <sighs> for me because I'm here. I'm like, hey, hey, bring me up, man. Help me, give me a hand up, give me a hand up. You know? Yeah. But, I mean, once you feel bad, I mean, you look at people. There are people like that, like f- famous person. They hand, you know, mm. they don't they don't do a whole lot. But hey, yeah, Jimmy, I'm gonna give you a twenty thousand a year, fifty thousand a year, whatever. Help my best friend out. Yeah. But the best friend is probably still like that motherfucker has five million a year. He's only giving me fifty thousand a year. Well, you know? this is the way I look at it. If I was famous and rich and all that stuff, and I was to help you, I would want you to be at a similar level in order for us to be able it. to. Yeah, I could. See, like here's the thing. Take Adam Sandler. He brought up his friends. Yeah, in but the his movies. friends aren't as rich as him. It doesn't matter. They're rich enough to be able to still participate in things with him. Right, right, yeah. Well, I don't know if they're rich enough, but yeah. Oh, yeah, they're rich enough to be able to participate with him. All those friends are all the Adam Sandler movies? Yeah, and and here's the other great thing about it. When Adam Sandler does those movies and all that stuff, he says, Hey, Shag Dog, I want you to join me down here in Hawaii for this 50 first dates because guess what? I need your help in the in, in the in the movie here, and and and, and while you're there doing your little bit part, I'm paying for your room and board because you're a part of the I, the, I the just, company. I don't, I don't believe it. Look at all Adam Sandler's friends that are in those movies: uh, Little Nicky, uh, Billy Madison, all those movies. Those couple guys, three guys that are always in all those movies. Have you seen it, them in any of Adam Sandler's recent movies? No. Well, they may have had a fallen out. I don't know. Have you seen him in any other movies done by anybody else? Nope. No, because they're not that good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the one part, little Nikki. Hey, hey, Nikki, what's Ozzy trying to say here? Oh, Ozzy came out straight out. But check out this, Chicago, you know, backwards. But the, those three guys that are in that movie. See, my point is this. Uh, and, and and I'm not saying Adam Sandler is the, the answer but or whatever, a perfect example. Yeah. But I'm just saying in the initial Adam Sandler, I'm not, not talking about today, but the initial mm-hmm. Adam Sandler brought his friends up with him. That we know of. Yeah, that we know well, of. Maybe give him a break. I, <laughs> and don't get me wrong. Movie. I don't know everything. I don't know all the dirt and all that stuff. So, you know, yeah, you you're know, right. That I, I know yeah. of, the ones yeah. that were his friends... He helped lift up. He did. He got him in the movies. How much he paid them or anything, we don't know. It might have been just a, a minor fee for the whatever the minor fee is, minimum wage for an actor. But know. in my opinion is if it was me and, and I had the opportunity to say, hey, hey Shag Dog, help. Uh, I need you for this part in this movie. I'm willing to pay you to come down here to Hawaii and uh, yeah. stay, you know for the, stay for the stay for the the six months that we're doing the film and I need you to do these little roles here. And then, and then, and when we're not doing those roles and everything, Hey, we can go out and party and do whatever we want together. No matter how big of a star you are, there's going to be some other people, producers, directors, that that guy can't act. We we're not putting him in this movie. Uh, And you know what I'd say? I'm producing this movie. So fuck you. Mm -hmm. And that's the difference. If you have a true friend, a you true friend will do that. They will stand up. Take Bob Denver, right? Bob Denver, what was his name? Gilgan, right? Gilgan Island, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I got John Denver and Bob Denver confused. Yeah. Bob Denver turned around, and, and he was supposed to be on the TV guide, you know, on the front cover and everything. And he said, I'm not doing the front cover without Ginger and Marianne and, you know, all the. I'm not doing it. You put the rest of them on here with me. Yeah. He forced them to put the rest of them on. That's good. I mean, I think Junior and Marianne probably would have got in there eventually by themselves anyhow. But yeah. but here's the thing. You have the power to dictate that. You do a little bit, yeah. You may not be able to do everything, but you could do that. Same thing with Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis. When Frank Sinatra was there and Sammy Davis was a, he, Sammy Davis couldn't stay yeah. in the same hotel. Well, you know what? Well, then we're not, we're not playing. But only cert- I, I would grant you that, Jammer, but only certain stars have that kind of power. There are certain stars they are not that much of a draw where the producers or directors are going to say, well, yeah, 
Uh, no, 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 we're not doing that because this movie's going to flop. If well, we here's the thing about the uh, Frank Sinatra types level of stardom and everything. Um, shit. Golly. Pause your mic. Or mute All, right. Mic. All right. Let me mute it. All that stuff that Jammer is talking about is going to go out the window. Oh, he's back. Hello. <laughs> yeah, that, was pretty, that was a pretty good speech. Let me uh, mark that. Okay, so I just highlighted Margaret 2450, two spots. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't know where we were at when I got rudely interrupted. Oh, yeah. uh, we were talking about the stardom and bringing people up and stuff like that. Uh, I know. I, all I know is this: if uh, I was to become a star, I would want my friends to be lifted up with me. I would do it too. And I, I just said while you're off the mic, but you're got a good heart, and I do just try to do the same thing too. But there's always so much you could do for somebody. Those people got to lift themselves up too. You might give them the opportunity, but if they don't rise to the occasion. It's not going to happen. You can only do so much for your friend. I am parched and I'm out of beer. Yeah, what are we going to do? Let's do another one. You want to do a drinking and thinking or a review? I don't care. Whatever you want to do. I'm trying to think here. What? what yeah. You want to do a drinking and thinking? We can do a drinking and thinking. Drink and thinking. Yeah, we'll do a drinking and thinking. All right, let's do that. I got to get us. I'll drink. Yeah. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing, liking, and sharing, and jingling the bell. Uh, I'm Jammer. He is the shag dog, the right. the only. Hey, look at that blue light. You ain't going to sleep tonight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's going to hypnotize you to love the shag dog. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, because he's a dog. Yeah, that's right. Why must he be like that? Why must he chase the cat? Ain't nothing but the dog in him. Oh. Woof, woof, woof. All right, let's do it. I'm Shag Dog. Yep, Jammer. Spit a swab beer review. See you on the next one. See ya.